There have been some new development in MDS recently. Um, this, I will be talking about high-risk MDS in my presentation mainly. And the standard of care for a high-risk MDS upfront is still hypomethylene agents. But recently, um, uh, oral decidabine with cetazuridine has been approved for MDS. So an oral hypomethylene agent option is certainly an option for MDS patients, which is certainly more convenient in this time of especially COVID where Patients are not um, not want to avoid um, traveling back and forth to the doctor's office. So certainly, it's uh, there is a more convenient option for high risk MDS patients. In addition, there are a number of um, exciting drugs that are in development for high risk MDS. Um, Venetoclax has been approved for AML in an upfront setting uh, based on phase three data showing benefit in AML. And similarly, there is some preliminary pre preliminary efficacy data with Venetoclax with in, with hypomethylene agent in MDS and phase three trial is underway. And there are a number of other novel um, drugs in high-risk MDS combining with azacitidine that is in clinical trials, namely uh, magrolimab and sevatolimab. So overall, I think that high-risk MDS, um, uh, there is a more convenient um, hypomethylene option for MDS patients. And what's exciting in the coming years is that there is uh, there are several novel um, therapies that are in development with that azacitidine that have potential to improve outcomes in high-risk MDS.